Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot and I am here to do a reading for the karmic. Just to um, check in to see what's going on. What's crowning the karmic's energy is distant horizons. And the karmic readings are timeless. So, I'm not putting a specific um, time, date or time concerning these uh, karmic readings. More information the karmic need to know or collective what you need to know about the karmic is tree affairs with your family. And we'll get to that when we get to it. First card out for the spread was this card right here, the seven of cups. What clarified the seven of cups was judgment in reverse. Judgment in reverse is um not a good thing um um judgment in reverse could be someone not getting a second chance concerning something someone not evolving um not in reality judgment in reverse could be the universe or God being against you in a certain matter. <clears throat> it's like a disapproval. Um, getting a, not approved concerning the universe perspective. So something's going on with this. The seven of cups could be possibly. The karmic could possibly have some type of illusions. Because the Seven of Cups could speak of confusion, someone, um, drug use, substance abuse, that's causing these this confusion or illusions, someone not being able to make up their mind, um, having options. This could be the Carmen having options of love, or this could be her in some type of illusion. Um, it's like a confused state of mind, basically. When I asked for more information about the Seven of Cups, this Ten of Cups came out. This Ten of Cups could clarify a marriage, um, a happy life, happy family. Because the Ten of Cups is like your ultimate happiness. Don't have to be um, a family situation, but it's just your ultimate happiness. What clarified the Ten of Cups was this Page of Swords. This Page of Swords is... Um, Immature communication. This could be someone spying. This could be someone like quick, harsh, unnecessary communication. Talking about things they shouldn't be talking about. And, you know, immature, unnecessary communication. Let me clarify. Clarify judgment in reverse. Two came out. Judgment in reverse. Yeah. Mountain and peacock. Came out for judgment in reverse. Mountain, major challenges to overcome. Peacock, beware of great pride. So off the rip, I think that just judgment in reverse is concerning the karmic. The universe is probably making itself known to the karmic that she is not going to get her way in the matter or this could just be like something backfiring on her um her not evolving or learning the lesson that she should have is causing her behavior to basically you reap what you sow basically almost with judgment in reverse because the judgment in reverse is major challenges to overcome beware of great pride yeah, so the karmic was going on. Something's not going in her favor because of who she is right now or might always be or whoever the karmic is. Yeah, something's not happening for her. It ain't going her way. She got judgment in reverse. No second chances. The answer is no to a certain extent with this judgment in reverse. Clarify the seven of cups. Because she could be under some type of illusion, some type of self-deception, drugs. Cl 
see if I have seven of cups. Clarify the seven of cups. Ooh. Yeah. Bowl. Plenty of material things. Yeah. She could have had many. She could have she could have had several things going on concerning material things. She could have, yeah, she could have had several things going on, different streams of income, legal, illegal. And she could possibly have had plenty of material things. Or she could have been under some type of illusion concerning how she was going to obtain plenty of material things. How she was going to get this material things. So this Ten of Cups right here um, could possibly be the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. Like y'all family, y'all relationship, marriage, whatever. And I think this page of source is this Carmen. This is her. She could be spying because the card came out like this. So she in that seven of cups energy, judgment in reverse. Because she have a major challenge to overcome and beware of great pride. She's probably unaware of how prideful she is. So what she's trying to obtain is possibly this ten of cups. It's not going to happen. It's not hap It's not going to happen. Because this could be her spying on Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, or the Divine Feminine, or the Divine Masculine. If y'all not together, if the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine is not together, this could be just her spying on one of y'all or both of y'all. But this Ten of Cups is here. Or this could have been the karmic, um, not telling the truth to obtain this Ten of Cups. She could have told like a little white lie. There was some immature communication to get this Ten of Cups. So she either, probably both going on. Probably both scenarios is going on. Clarify, let me see. Clarify this Ten of Cups. Clarify this Ten of Cups. Dang. No, I'm not taking all that. Clarify the ten of cups. Fan. Romance ce celebration and party. That came out for the ten of cups. So like I said, divine feminine and the divine masculine. If you guys like maybe possibly recently got back together, y'all could have gotten married. And the karmic is possibly spying on y'all. Both of y'all or you guys individually. She's spying. Because right here it's saying whatever she was trying to obtain. That plenty of material things. It didn't work out. Because judgment in reverse. And it's like the universe is trying to get her attention. By telling her she have a major challenge to overcome because she's not aware of her pride. Beware of great pride. So whatever she wanted concerning that seven of cups, she didn't get. So now she's spying and probably even gossiping about the um, divine masculine and the, the divine feminine relationship. Or somebody could just be happy. Somebody have their ten of cups. And she's spying and probably gossiping concerning romance, celebration, and party. This fan. This is what the karmic is spying on or gossiping about. I'm going to go ahead up here to the top. This distant horizons. Because this is what's crowning the karmic's energy. This distant horizon card could represent something someone wishes for. What they yearn for. A dream. A fantasy. Um, it's almost similar to the seven of cups. It's similar to that. Um, cause it's like I said, it's like dreaming, hoping, wishing, but even this distant horizons card, what the card is explaining is if someone has some sort of fantasy, 
or dream. This this the horizons card tells you that it's going to be a lot of work. Possibly more work to obtain what you want than you expected. That's what the distant horizons card um tells you. So if somebody have like a dream or a hope or something, they're going to have to put more work and effort into what they want than they probably expect. So because of that, this distant horizons card could be speaking of someone with unrealistic expectations. This card could also mean traveling over bodies of water. So if boats, airplanes, is concerning water, some type of liquid, something water. It, this um, card could also represent um, foreign, like foreign countries, foreign people, things of that nature. So let me clarify this Distant Horizons card. <clears throat> clarify Distant Horizons with the tea leaf. Clarify Distant Horizons. Yep. Scissors came out. Disappointment and summer fear. Yeah, that's the karmic. That's what's crowning her energy. Um, cause like I said, she probably had some type of unrealistic expectation on how to obtain this plenty of material things. Yeah. She wasn't in reality. It was, yeah, she was being unrealistic and she's disappointed concerning her fantasy, her illusion, whatever it was. She's experiencing, because she's in judgment in reverse, she's experiencing that disappointment. It is very real to her. But what clarified that Distant Horizons was this Six of Wands. Now, this Six of Wands could be some type of victory someone get. It could be something being brought to someone's attention. Or it can be, like, somebody that's ego tripping. Ego tripping. What clarified the Six of Wands was the lovers. This could be a lover. This could be the karmic being someone's lover. This could be the karmic having to make a choice or she have made a choice. Or this could be, um, yeah, it's either making a decision or being someone's lover. So this could be telling me that something could be being brought to the karmic's attention for her to be disappointed about her distant horizons. This could some be something's being brought to her attention about one of her lovers, the divine masculine possibly, or this could be saying she she's realizing she needs to make better decisions. When I ask for more information about that distant horizons, the six of cups came out. This six of cups could signify someone from your past. This could be someone being nostalgic, having nostalgic, reminiscing, going back, good times, fond memories, things like that. What clarified the six of cups was this ace of pentacles. So this could be the karmic possibly wanting the divine masculine to propose to her because the ace of pentacles is like a proposal this ace of pentacles could also mean like some type of raise some type of promotion moving in together yeah things like that the ace of pentacles is something you normally would not say no to because it could be a new house a new car you know of the material world ace of pentacles so this could have been what she wanted, her distant horizons, her dream, her fantasy, for someone from her past to propose to her. Possibly. Or this could be her reminiscing about when the divine masculine possibly did propose to her. And because of her great pride, he could have broke things off with her and she regretted. Yeah. 
He could have proposed to her. They was proposed. But he probably changed his mind or called it off because of her behavior. Beware of great pride. And concerning communication, this is how she's coming out. If this card is about communication and not her spying, this is how she talks like a page. She, The karmic don't communicate as the queen of swords. She come off as the page of swords. So it could be even the way she handled things, the way she could communicate, talk. She could be a liar. But let me clarify. Clarify the six of cups. Because she could be realizing that the divine masculine could have chose somebody else. Because the ten of cups is out here. So it could be being brought to her attention that he made a decision and it was not her. Clarify the six of cups. These cards just clarify the six of cups. Mine all over the place. Yeah. Younger man. Dealings or relationship with a younger man. Mm -hmm. So, if this is the divine masculine, this younger man, he could be younger than her. Yeah, he probably younger than her. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. This younger man could be one of her lovers. This younger man right here could be one of the karmic's lovers. It could be the divine masculine. It could be her child. Clarify the ace of pentacles. Clarify the ace of pentacles. Because I think this six of wands is something being brought to her attention. Because she's disappointed. In whatever she was hoping for. Clarify the ace of pentacles. Yeah, Friday, Yeah. Yeah, tanker. Celebration, fun, and enjoyment. So, yeah. 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 So, this could possibly be saying that in the past, in the past, when Divine Masculine was a younger man, he made her some type of offer, whether it was a proposal, whether they got married, whether he gave her a house, a car, whatever this Ace of Pentacles was, it made her happy. Celebration, fun, enjoyment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she could possibly be thinking about what they had in the past. And she probably want it back. Yeah. She 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 lost something. She lost something. Because judgment is in reverse. Yeah, she lost possibly even the divine masculine. And she no longer have this celebration, fun, and enjoyment because in this card right here, this Ten of Cups, I think the Divine Masculine now has this with someone else, Divine Feminine, either you or another um, person. The Divine Masculine poss possibly have this Ten of Cups with somebody else. And she's spying. She's spying. Because whatever this is, which came out as this fan, romance, celebration, and party. She don't have that no more. That's why she's disappointed. And I think something's being brought to her attention. Clarify the lovers. It even could be y'all relationship. Because this twin flame, this twin flame right here. So it could be being brought to her attention about... You and Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, this y'all, this is y'all right here in this card, the lovers. So, yeah, that's what this is. It's being brought to the karmic's attention that you guys are twin flame. Y'all a couple, whether y'all in separation or not. This is being brought to her attention that you guys are the lovers. Yep. Yeah. 
and she's disappointed because I think she could have possibly had that in the past with him when he was a younger man. Yeah. Yeah. And I believe when the karmic was in the re when when the karmic was in the relationship with the divine masculine or she had him where she wanted him in the past to her it was about material things plenty of material things because her pride mhm mm and that's why she probably lost him yeah so like I said, whether they married or not, she lost something. Whether it was him or this material things or both, she lost something. Because judgment is in reverse. Yeah. Um, This is what else more the karmic need to know or what you guys collective need to know about the karmic. Tree, affairs with your family. So this could be speaking about affairs with her family or her... Her being being in y'all business basically affairs with your family because this is like this so i think this tree here i'm gonna clarify but that tree here affairs with your family this could be saying divine feminine she's involved with some type of affairs in your family or this could be speaking about her family because right here this ten of cups and this page of swords this person is spying on these people right here So what clarified this tree affairs with your family is this um, queen of disc. This is the queen of pentacles, the matriarch in this card. Mm -hmm. What clarified the queen of disc was this four of pentacles. And I get what's happening. Divine feminine of concerning affairs with your family. This karmic got left out in the cold because this you divine feminine and four pentacles plus this queen pentacle right here that's five pentacles so divine feminine concerning affairs with your family this karmic has been officially left out in the cold so even if divine masculine could possibly even be trying to still hold on to her as the third party it's still not going to work because the universe is in reverse. So this is like God saying, or the universe saying, y'all wasn't meant to be together and it's not going to happen. Judgment in reverse. It's not going to happen. So even if divine masculine still um, straddling the fence, it's still not going to work out. Because judgment in reverse is here. That's a major arcana. Matter of fact, it's the only major arcana up here. Yep. Yep, judgment in reverse. So you could be the queen of pentacles, divine feminine, practical, stable, reliable, um, trustworthy. But let me see what this four of pentacles is. Clarify the four of pentacles. Mm, mm-hmm. Finger, warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. Yep. So this is the karmic right here. And she's holding on to this right here. She's holding on. To in the past when the divine masculine was a younger man and what they had, this tanker um, celebration of fun and enjoyment, she holding on. She holding on. And it's warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. Yeah. This four of pentacles is someone holding on. But divine feminine, because you are the queen of pentacles, practical, reliable, down to earth. Down to earth. Remember, she's disappointed because she had distant horizons. Distant horizons is having a dream or a, a fantasy that is unrealistic 
the Queen of Pentacles is like the total opposite. Because she's down to earth. She not in she not in the sky dreaming fantasy. The Queen of Pentacles not in no fantasy. She is practical, reliable, and down to earth. So, in spite of her holding on to what her and Divine Masculine had in the past, because Divine Feminine, you are the Queen of Pentacles the way you are, concerning affairs with your family and your business, your stuff, possibly even the Divine Masculine, She's going to be left out in the cold. She's going to be left out in the cold concerning affairs with your family. Your stuff. Y'all stuff. What you and Divine Masson got together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When I asked for more information about this tree, this Ten of Swords came out. This is probably the karmic. She's feeling betrayed. Because it's not you, Divine Feminine. It's not you and Divine Masculine that's doing this to her. It's the universe. This is a major arcana. Nine times out of ten, this is the universe and God being in control. So it's not you or divine masculine that's in charge. It's the universe putting her in this judgment and reverse energy. Causing her to feel disappointment. And she feels betrayed. This is how she feels. And it's not divine. It's not the divine masculine and divine feminine's fault because of her. Beware of great pride. It's her own fault. It's her. The divine feminine is not the reason why the divine masculine left. Divine masculine left because of how she do stuff. Yeah. So what clarified the ten of swords was this king of pentacles. This king of pentacles can represent the karmic. It can represent the divine masculine. It can represent what the karmic and the divine masculine built together. Like a business or something. Their stability, their coins, their wealth was king of pentacles. But it's going to end. There's going to be a painful ending Ending to the king of pentacles. Their stability. What they had together. Is going to be a painful ending. To what they built together. This king of pentacles. Clarify the king of pentacles. Clarify the king of pentacles. Clarify the king of pentacles. Or. This could also be. The divine masculine. Because the queen of pentacles is out here. So this could possibly be. Divine feminine. This could possibly be, be your divine masculine. Ending it. Ending it with the karmic. And she feels betrayed. Because the king of pentacles going that way. And the karmic that way. She facing the opposite way. So it's like he just left her there. Clarify the king of pentacles. Clarify the king of pentacles. Is this a person, place, or thing? Clarify this king of pentacles. Mm. Yeah, woman. Dealings or relationship with the woman. Yep, yeah, that's divine masculine. Yeah, I think he going, I think he, um, because of y'all relationship, divine feminine. He has some dealings with a woman, the karmic. But because of his connection with you, he put an ending to what he had with the karmic. Yeah. And it was painful, too. It was painful for him, her, probably both of them. It was painful. Mm hmm Or this could just be the divine masculine in his ten of swords, and he felt betrayed because he... He realized there. He real the divine masculine realized they wasn't compatible. He wasn't supposed to be with this woman, with the karmic. He wasn't supposed to be with her. Mhm. Mm 
So I'm looking at the pictures right here with this tree. What is looking like, right? It's looking like <laughs> divine feminine. You and the divine masculine, y'all um, sitting down eating dinner. Y'all minding y'all business. Y'all at home with y'all kids eating whatever. And here she come, the karmic, holding on, calling, sending mail, stalking, spying, her car outside y'all house. She keep calling his phone. If they got kids together, she just blowing up his phone, calling his phone. Outside your house. She holding on. And Divine Masculine <laughs> had to get up from the table, leave the house, and go tell her. And go tell her. Make it plain, make it clear. Bring it to her attention what's going on. Who he with, who he got, the decision he made. His divine counterpart, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Angel, right there. That's what could be happening. Because in the spread, it's like this. It's like that. So, y'all couple, this is a match. Y'all at home, cooking, eating dinner with the kids or family over, whatever. And she's still holding on. There's four Pentacles. He had to get up from that table and leave. With golf side, if she parked outside your house, he had to go outside, tell her to, you know, get out of here. Call her, do something. But he got up. And it's being brought to her attention about the lovers. Because... <laughs> when Divine Masculine was a younger man... They had celebration, fun, and enjoyment. But Divine Feminine, what you got with him is romance, celebration, and party. Romance. Whether it's romance, mental romance, emotional romance, physical romance. Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, there's an ingredient in here, this romance that y'all have in y'all connection that he did not have with this karmic. It don't say romance in that card. So that's what they were lacking. They had no romance. That's why y'all the lovers. Because there's romance. You can have fun with anybody. You can have fun and enjoyment with anybody. But romance don't have to be physical. That's what makes the lovers the lovers. Because of romance. Romance.